Hey guys, my name's Danny, and this is Gambit's Bistro Speed Build. So, this is a restaurant for my current Let's Play. Um, right now, they have just kind of like a thrown together little diner that I just made randomly when I was getting ready to start my Let's Play. And I decided that I wanted to go for a bistro theme, so I decided to do a speed build. Um, so right now I'm just trying to get the shape of the house. Well, not house. I guess it's a restaurant. I was trying to get the shape of the restaurant, trying to figure out if I wanted a foundation. Um, I definitely knew I wanted an outdoor patio area, so I thought that'd be cute. Um, so yeah, just playing around with the shape. Um, I do a lot of columns and kind of almost like an industrial style. It doesn't have a traditional roof. It just has like an open roof with half walls. Um, just stuff like that. I don't know. I I looked on Google for some inspiration. I just googled bistros and I looked at like American style diners and like diners you would see on like an old Main Street type USA. You know like small town like diners you would see like old older buildings that had been like remodeled and turned into restaurants and stuff. And that's kind of where I got the inspiration for this build from. Um, again, this is the new restaurant for my Let's Play. So after this video goes up, when uh, Dine Out, I think we're on part 7? When Dine Out 7 comes out, part 7 comes out, uh, we'll be placing this restaurant. So uh, obviously my Sims do not have enough simoleons to buy this. I think the completed restaurant is 90,000 simoleons. So we're definitely going to be borrowing some money. So cheating our way up in the world. But that's okay, because part of my goal is to pay back what I have taken out. And I've already taken out 25000 to even just get started. Uh, I don't know. And it's going to take a while, because running a restaurant does not get you a lot of cash. Like, at all. Like, you just, I don't know. It just seems to be taking forever to get any money. It, I just feel like some days I'm barely making, like, 200 simoleons. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is this sucks, because... I can, you know, go paint a painting that's going to take me two hours and I'll sell it for three to four times the amount that I'm, you know, making the whole time my restaurant is open. So I don't know if that's because we haven't marked up our food enough, but I feel like if we mark up our food too much, we're not going to have any customers and they're going to be unhappy because I can't manage it very well. I don't know. We're just going to play around with it and figure it out. Um, but anyways, I've been mumbling and jambering about and I forgot what I was talking about. Uh, so right now I'm putting in this little aquarium type thing. I knew I wanted it in the restaurant and I wanted it to be visible from the outside and the inside. So I, you couldn't put it, you know, it couldn't be, there was little gaps on each side is what I'm saying. There was little gaps. You can see right there. And those gaps, I, you know, I was like, oh, I really want this, but you can't have open walls. Thankfully, there's no weather yet, so it doesn't really matter. If there's little bitty holes you can't cover up. But I do try to hide them very well, because I put in those two columns. And then I put in, um, I'm not quite sure the word for it. It's the, uh, not the roofing accessories, but the secondary level. Like, I guess it's just some kind of trim, some kind of housing trim. I put that up, and I put those little board things up. And uh, right now, it has a very Asian type look I would say it's kind of like Asian fusion bistro I don't know the um I think those half wall accessories the little wooden fence looking thing I'm pretty sure that came with Dine Out um and I like the look it gives it it looks it gives it a very I don't know I like it I just like the way it looks uh the exterior will change a couple more times though before from where it's at right now um I add a lot more columns a lot more depth um I think I raise the wall height on the second floor, I'm pretty sure. So it's gonna change a lot. Um, right now, those those uh, little hanging plant things with the glass, I totally get rid of that. Like, that looks so cluttered and doesn't really match as well as I was hoping. And I like those lights. I do end up using them. I use them on the inside. But right now, I was like, that looks terrible. I was trying to put windows in, but then that one left side of the building, there's like a wall the other side. So all you see is straight to a wall. So I was like, well, you can't put windows there. It looks stupid. And so I'm just sitting here going over and over trying to figure out what to put there and I was like oh I'll put some more columns and I was like oh wait let's change the columns let's get different ones let's go for a more brown color to match that little 
um, awning stuff that I put up, and it'll kind of match better. So that's the final look I went with. Um, I think I'm going to change this front entrance up a little bit. I'm going to expand the building back a little bit to make it more even. Uh, there I go, raising the um, wall height on the second floor. So yeah, I'm about to change this part, uh, this door entrance, because there was not a three-tiled door that I like. So we went with two tiles instead of trying to go for four. Um, I went with the spa day ones. I like the way they look. Um, there's matching windows and stuff that kind of give it a really, um, I'm saying Asian influence again. It's got a lot of Asian influences for a bistro. So I do like that. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think what else is... Yeah, I think I'm making, yeah, I see more columns. I knew I made more columns in there. It's, that's the way I build. When I build, I start out with boxes, basically. And then I expand upon those boxes. And that's either by adding columns, you know, adding little small pieces here and there to make it not so square shaped or rectangular shaped. And I just go from there. And that's the way I've always built in The Sims. Um, I've seen other people's build styles and it's a lot different from mine. But I just... I don't know. I always start with boxes and just add on and take away. And that's just the way I've always built. That's just the way I like building. It's just what works for me. Um, I feel like to improve my building skills, that sometimes my theming, it's, uh, the way I have it in my head is a lot better the way it turns out. And I think that's because I don't, I think when I start out, I need to kind of like just pick pieces instead of struggling to pick pieces when I'm building it. Like, I know what items I want in it, but then when you're really trying to look for it, you can't find it in the catalog, and you just know that you're, like, missing it over and over again. Like, you're looking for it, and you just keep freaking passing it, and you can't find it. But, I don't know. I feel like I need to, like, pull everything out and be ready for what I want. You know, like, go through the catalog, pick out things I know I want, so that way I know where it's at. I don't know. We'll see if I remember to do that next time. But here I am putting in more columns. I got that stairwell. Um, I... Cut out half of the flooring on the top floor so that way he looked down into the uh, dining room and to the entrance way. Uh, I thought that was kind of cool. I think of it, um, I think when we start furnishing, we'll put like a really big hanging chandelier there. It looks really neat. Got all that glass fencing to kind of rope it off. I had to finagle with a little back end a little bit to make it work. Um, I end up moving those back kind of calling me ear looking pieces. Uh, I moved them around. I ended up making them to where they could be bathrooms on the bottom floor. So it really worked out well. Um, but yeah, still really trying to figure out the layout. Uh, I think this is about when I decide that, hey, where are we going to put the bathrooms at? Uh, <laughs> so yeah, so here I am moving around those kind of back columns to make for bathrooms. Um, I was like, man, I just don't know where I'm going to put these bathrooms at. What the heck happened? Uh, I feel like my camera's all over the place and that's because of this lot. So I should have built a more flat lot, but this lot has that ginormous, like, brick you can see right now in the top left corner it has like that brick behind it it's like almost like a well, like some kind of like bridge or like a divider or something and every time you get to the back of the building your camera just bounces up in the air it's so frustrating so annoying I knew that about this lot before I started building and I just forgot and I did it anyway um so in hindsight don't build on this lot build on a different 30 20 by lot because you would be so frustrated so, 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 so frustrated. Yeah. So there's those matching windows. I was talking about that match the doors. I really like that look. Um, that leads out into our patio area. Uh, we, we end up with quite a few seating areas out there. I think about four tables with four seats on each. So fixing in the columns, adding some more, uh, getting that trim I was talking about. That really helps hide the little gaps that's around the aquarium down there. I really like that. Um, it's a lot of blacks and browns. I think, uh, the color that we end up with for the whole, uh, restaurant is actually like brick. That new brick texture that came with, uh, Dine Out. And yeah, see, so putting in more of those windows and that door, I really like it. Uh, trying to figure out what I was going to do for this bottom part here. Uh, wasn't really sure yet. Uh, I knew I didn't want windows straight into the kitchen because that's where the kitchen's going to be on that far right corner right there. Uh, I really like these windows. They came with Get Together. They're really cool. I'll put that in our bar area so when you look out, it looked pretty neat. Putting in these windows right here, I think I actually, you don't, can't see all those windows. I do believe that I put in like these really cool like bubbly blue things in front of it. I'm not really sure where they came from. They either came, I think they might have came with Get Together. I don't know. You'll see when I place them. Uh, I'll look at the icon on it, but going around, I think I'm trying to figure out 
why stuff's not moving. So I try to move objects on and off to make sure that my door is, you know, accessible in front of that uh, staircase. So starting to move objects back on. Um, yeah, looking for some bathroom stall doors, bathroom doors. Going to do quick bathrooms. There's a men and a women's. I'm not really sure if I'm going to specify yet. I just like the way the doors look. I know this came from Spa Day. They're cute. Um, each little restroom has two stalls and then just a sink and a little glass doors for zero privacy. So in my mind, I'm going to say those are frosted glass doors and you can't see them to them. Uh, <laughs> but putting in, now we're working on the kitchen side. Let's put it in my counter. Uh, I have two chef's kitchen sets in here and um, I went with these industrial chic uh, countertops that you get from the culinary career. I really like the way they look with the stainless steel cooking sets. I think it blends in pretty good. Not seamlessly because most Sims colors don't match across the board, but I do think that's really close. I'm um, putting it a server's door, going around, making sure that I have everything. Uh, when on my first build, well, not my first build, but when I was first building my restaurant that's in my Let's Play now, I totally forgot the kitchen sink. I have this thing of forgetting sinks, and I don't know why. Okay, I take it back. I do know why. When The Sims 4 first came out, it was so frustrating that The Sims would constantly go to any sink in the house to wash their dishes. Like, any sink in the house. And I do believe they fixed that, like, a while ago. But I got it in my head to just stop putting sinks in my house. So, like, I would build houses and there would not be a single sink on the whole lot. Because it drove me mad that they would, you know, use all these other sinks instead of the one I wanted to use in the kitchen. So, I only had, like, one in the whole house or something. So, I've got this really horrible habit of not putting in sinks. I'm really trying to fix that. But yeah, there's those blue light things I was talking about. I totally missed the icon on it, but I do believe they're from Get Together. Like, that looks like the Get Together style. I totally could be wrong. Um, that bar that we saw with the lights up and the blue, we definitely re go back and replace that later because right now I have that sheet countertop bar set in there, and I end up not going with that. I end up not liking it. Um, I'm going through, like, a blue kind of theme. Uh, right now... It looks good because it's there's no lights in there, but once you put in the lights, it kind of gives everything that yellow tint that I cannot stand. So once I go into live mode in this, I will change the color of all the lights. I like the cool white tone. I just think the coloring looks better. But I do like the new update that has the cool lighting effect from where the stuff's coming in. It looks really neat. Like, right there where, um... Hang on, my video just is something funky. No, oh, it's fine. Sorry. But right there were the uh, the skylights and the uh, cool little pub, uh, I guess it's more like pebble textured windows in the bar area. That looks really neat. I like the way the light shines through it. It just looks really cool. But yeah, so we're going back to the kitchen, getting a couple accessories to put around everywhere. Um, I think I want to start painting soon. And uh, so yeah. But this build, it took me two days. Um, not like super long, but I sat down for about an hour and a half the first day and built it and got the kitchen done and got most of the outside painting done. And I was like, well, I'm tired. I'm ready to go do something else. So I saved there and then I went back today and finished it off and started recording this video. So it took me maybe, I don't know, three hours to build it and furnish it, which is not very bad. Um, I just I wasn't in the mood to finish it yesterday because I planned on having this up earlier on Friday than it will go up, but it will be up on Friday. So you should be watching this on June 17th, 2016, unless you are from the future and you're watching this at a later date, in which I'm sorry. But yeah, so here's the brick I was talking about. This came with uh, Dine Out. I really like the color of this brick. I didn't feel like before, uh, well, I like the color brick patterns that came with Get Together. It's okay, but I really like this one better. This looks, this one looks more realistic. This looks like something you downloaded in custom content, which if you can tell, which I'm sure you can, I have all the custom content in my game installed, but I do not use them in my builds because I want, when I want to uh, upload it up to the gallery, I don't want people to have to worry about custom content and it not showing up in their game and the house not looking the way it was advertised, so... So I don't use custom content when I'm building. Um, not if it's going to go in the gallery. Now, I'll build it, put it on the gallery, and then I'll probably go back and edit it and put in some custom content that I like. But 
just for the simple sake of making it really easy for someone else to go and download and play it the way it looks, I don't use it. So, oh my goodness, I have this new kitten and he just climbed into my lap and he's trying to eat my headphone cable. You little stinker. Oh my goodness. You can probably hear him all the time. He has a bell and he makes this horrible bird squawking sound. And you probably hear him in all my videos now because he's always chasing his bigger brother. Oh, there he goes again. He's bought my cable. No, bad kitty. Okay, down you go. Uh, but he's always chasing his brother so you can probably hear two sets of bells just constantly, you know, going at it. But anyways, I'm totally missing the bill because I'm rambling. Okay, so I'm putting in, I think this is marble flooring that also came with Dine Out. Uh, looking for a good wood color to match all the wood paneling. I think I finally go with one that came with... Uh, Outdoor treat? I think that's the one I go with. Uh, no, it might be. Uh, no, I don't. I go with the one that came with the spooky stuff pack. I feel like I don't use a lot of stuff from that stuff for that floorboard. But you know, Halloween. I didn't really have this pack around Halloween, so I think I got it on sale afterwards. So I didn't really get to do all the like Halloween type stuff. You know, I guess I can do it any day of the week, but I felt like I should do it when it's actually October. So October's coming up soon, and then I guess I'll have a spooky party but anyways uh so yeah so it's going around painting the inside finding colors um looking around i think i put like um what other colors do i go with i think i go with like a kind of like a wood paneling on the inside too but i think it's really dark colored like really black colored i think uh i say this like i didn't just do this but i can't remember uh, i don't know I'm sure I'll show it in a second. I can't remember what color I picked out. I think it was a dark black color. Um, it might, yeah, it is. Or is it gray? No, it's black. I know it's dark. Yeah, okay, I go with black. I knew I did. I go with this black colored, um, wood material. It looks almost like tile, but I think it's just slanted wood that came with Spa Day. Um, Spa Day came with a lot of great build objects. So, I use a lot of stuff from that pack. Uh, but just going around, filling in the colors I wanted. Um, it's really starting to come together. It's kind of dark, and um, it's dark now. When I add all the lights in, it looks a little bright, but I will go back and change the colors of the lights in intensity because, you know, I don't know. I want it to be, some areas I want to be, you don't want to eat your food in the dark is what I'm saying. So you want your dining room to be well lit, but upstairs in the bar area, you want it to be a little bit darker. So, you know, it makes it easier when you have, how they say it, the beer goggles on because you're a little tipsy. <laughs> it makes it, you, it makes everybody a little bit happier. <laughs> but, um, anyways, I think I'm about to cut to the next part of the video. Um, I think it's probably kind of like just a very sudden doop because when I was doing it, I, um, well, I already missed it. I wasn't really paying attention because the cats started chasing each other. Um, but yeah, I totally missed it because I did this today. Okay, I'm putting in the chandelier. And I, like, switch back and forth between two. I had that little swirly one, and I had this kind of, like, I don't know. It looks almost like wind chimes chandelier. I do end up going with the wind chimey one. Right now, it's just all about placement, where I want to put it, how it's going to look. Um, I end up putting in those little ball ones that came with Dine Out too. I think I make one really big and one small, put them beside each other. I think I might even use one, too, in the bar area. My kitten just crawled into my lap again. He does not stop. He's a very determined kitty cat. But, um, so yeah, there's that final placement for that one. And then I do think I come in. I was just making sure. It looks a little funky because the skylight's above it. But how often do you actually look through the ceiling? So I'm going to go with it. <laughs> but going in, putting lighting everywhere. Trying to figure out what I want. And then I realized, you know, hey, Goober, you cut off half the ceiling in this place. So you can't just use um, ceiling lights in everywhere. So I have to find me some wall lights. I, it took me a minute. I was looking at it and I was like, why is that not going there? And I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. I cut out the wall. Not the wall. I cut out the ceiling. So, yeah. So I found these cool little light up signs that they came with get together. So I decided to put them out from a restaurant because they look kind of cool. And they light up and they give some outside lighting. So I put those there. Um, I think I end up on that wall right there that's covering the stairs. I think I put our logo, the restaurant logo there. Um, I think so. That sounds about right. Going around, putting in those lights I was talking about that I had outside. Putting them inside. Looking for some more smaller lights to kind of put here and there to light up the room. Because it is quite dark right now. 
Um, so yeah, so just going around looking, uh, trying to figure out what's going on, putting some lights there, kind of like little steppy stair lights, putting those there. Um, I think I'm, yeah, now I'm going and grabbing the sign from out front, putting that on the wall in front of the stairs, kind of like a boom, bam, in your face when you enter. Um, so yeah, that's the logo I went with. I don't know. It's okay. Um, a little bummer about the logos is that you, uh, there's like, um, a wood panel piece you can make a logo out logo out of that goes on the wall well when you enlarge that wooden piece and you try to put enlarged signs on it uh it doesn't work i don't know what i did wrong but it doesn't work so that stinks but anyways i was looking at that giant tree light thing that came from movie stuff pack never use that tree because it's humongous but it looks so pretty with all the hanging lights in it but it's just way too big I just never use it. Um, going around putting in some outlights. Oh, there goes the crazy camera thing again. I can't stand it. It's so frustrating, so annoying. Uh, anyways, go around putting in lights, all that good stuff. And um, yeah, I just now looking back, I realize I didn't really decorate the back very well. I do think I put in a couple of trash cans and maybe some boxes and stuff, but I just didn't really go all out for it. <laughs> oh well, I think it's because the camera angle was so frustrating back there. I didn't really do much back there. It was just like, oh. Get me out of here. I'm done with it. I'm done. Uh, but yeah, putting in those blue lights I was talking about. They look cool. Uh, they look something like you pick up Ikea. I made one larger and then one little bit smaller one to put it beside it. Got to remove objects to do it. Um, put them side by side. They look pretty cute. Um, a little bit closer. There you go. Uh, I like the way that looks. It looks nice. Like Kind of like Japanese hanging lanterns, but not quite. I don't know. So here we go. Here we, We're changing the bar. I told you I was going to do it. Um... So I get the bar that came with Get Together that has the cool light ups on it. It's not the exact color I wanted, but it does have that same kind of blue lighting that you get from the stones on that window and then the bubbly thing that's in front of the mirror. So, not mirror, that's in front of the other windows. But yeah. So that's the colors I went with. Uh, I think I was looking for some stuff to hang on the wall. didn't really find much. I don't know. It's so hard. I feel like I just want to like disable. I wish there was a way to like filter out custom content when you're building sometimes because I just feel like it's kind of like everywhere and I have trouble recognizing what icon I'm looking at. So it's kind of frustrating. But I don't know. So going around building, still doing nothing. We gotta put all our tables in. Uh, we gotta finish off our checklist. We're putting in our hostess table. Um, Trying to find a spot for it. I don't think I go with that one. I think I get the more flashing one with the lights on it. I'm pretty sure I do. I don't think I get just the wooden one. No, I do. I thought I did. So I got the more flashing one with the lights on it. Um, maybe the wood color. Trying to move it around. Trying to figure out where it's going. Um, and then I am going to put in some chairs. Not booths. I want sofas. So I really hope that Sims won't, I kind of want this to be like a waiting area, but I don't think they're going to treat it like a waiting area. Instead, I feel like they're going to try to sit there and eat, which is okay, but that's not, that's not the point of that. And I have like, in my Let's Play right now, I have like just two chairs I put in because I wanted my Sims to have somewhere to sit to kind of get out of the way because I turned autonomy off because they were just doing all kinds of crazy stuff. They were like, just getting in my way when I was trying to get business done. So I turned autonomy off and in doing that, um, they kind of just stand around. So I need a chair so I'm going to sit in and get out of the way. And when I put those chairs there, I will have just random Sims coming in and getting up off out of their table and sitting on a chair and trying to eat there. Tries me nuts. I just, the whole chair switching thing in the Sims 4, they just have, I just never seen like they really fixed it. I feel like my Sims just do musical chairs the whole time they're eating. It's so frustrating. Um, I put in that little statue right there in the corner. That goes away and I end up putting our um, server station there. Like the little cleanup thing. I end up putting that there. Um, it's just kind of tucked away because I get towards the end I realize I didn't have one. And I don't have nowhere to put one. So, I don't know. But, hang on one second. Sorry for the jump in audio, if you've noticed. It's, um, I had a phone call, and it was very important. They kept calling me a million times in a row, and they wouldn't leave me alone. So I had to answer it. Sorry. Uh, anyways, putting in booths, getting our dining room ready, looking for, uh, 
the right size boots. I figure those right there, too big. So I tried to get the smaller ones. I couldn't remember which ones I was going for. Couldn't know if I didn't know if I wanted red, didn't know if I wanted black. Um, decided to go with the black ones. Realized that when I delete the couch, no, not couch. What is this called? When I delete the booth, the table doesn't get deleted with it, even though they got placed together. Uh, so I went with those smaller ones that they're called the retro dining, and then I get the retro dining dining chairs to match them. I think I ended up putting two more tables in in this little area by the bathrooms. Um, I think I put one by the wall. I think I actually might even put it in the corner, like facing the wall. So it's kind of like the hermit table, but I needed more tables and I didn't have as much space as I thought I was going to have just because those booths take up so much room, but they look cool. So I wanted them. Uh, so yeah, putting in some over here by the, um, entrance. I think I end up putting one by the wall. And I end up going back and, oh no, that's the one I moved because I was going to put by the wall. So I put another one there. Um, did I? Do I leave that there? I don't think so. I do not know. I can't remember now. I don't know. But I know I do put two in the entrance way. I put one right there in front of the sign and I put one right there in between those two columns. Uh, put some more over here by the server station. Server station? I don't know what I'm trying to go with this. By the kitchen. That's what I'm trying to say. I put it by the kitchen. Um... I should have turned move objects off at this point to make sure that it doesn't block the chef station, but I don't think it does. So we're going to go with it. <laughs> um, I'll probably play test this before I upload it to the gallery and make sure it doesn't block it. But currently I do not know, but I'll make sure everything's working and functional before I upload the gallery. Cause there ain't nothing like uploading crap that don't work. So I don't want that to be too smushed in and you can't get your sims, can't get to where they want and that's annoying. So I'm putting in my four sets of chairs out in the patio section. Um, I think I also end up putting out the uh, heat warming little thing. I don't know what it is. It came with Dine House. Like, it looks like a John Norris like fire lamp thingy and it makes your sims get like, this warm fuzzy feeling when they stand by it. So I'll put out one of those. Uh, I think I'll also put one out on the second patio that's upstairs that has like outdoor furniture to sit on and relax. Uh, going around, romancing the place up a little bit, putting candles on all the tables. Um, I think I end up putting my second set of chair chairs. Ooh, second table in the entrance right there. Uh, finagling it a little bit, trying to make it fit in there. I'm um, not really sure how your Sims might have a problem get by that or not when there's people sitting there. I don't know. I'll have to play and test and see. Um, so yeah, now I'm just, I don't know what I'm doing. Camera's going everywhere. Oh, I'm looking for stuff to hang on the wall. So yeah, um, I think I'm going to filter the packs. Looking for more restaurant items, seeing what the pack came with. I did use a little light up things to go on the wall. They look cool, but I feel like they would just be too much. Um, I'm trying to find somewhere to put the menu. I think I can get rid of that light and put it there, maybe. Yeah, I do. I move the light, put the, get the, what? Put the menu there. I'm getting so tongue-tied. Um, going around and finding little random decorations that I knew I wanted to put out and couldn't remember what I did with them again. Not when I did with them, I just couldn't find them when I wanted them. Um, so yeah, going around decorating some more. Looking at all the stuff that came with the pack. Some very ginormous stuff that just won't fit my build. Don't match my style of this build. So, I don't know. There's a little warming things I was talking about. They don't change colors all the way, which is kind of annoying because it's kind of like an eyesore, the color of it for this theme. Like, everything's kind of dark and brown and blacks, and that's like John Norman's, like, bright white steel-looking thing, which is fine. But, um, so, yeah, going and getting some plants. I don't think I even put out either these plants outside or inside, really, because they're just ginormous. I really didn't have room for them. Um, I do put those hanging ones underneath all the lamps and kind of give it like a, almost like they were meant to go together kind of look. I don't know. It kind of reminds me of something you would see at like Olive Garden. I feel like Olive Garden, if you live in the U.S., has just like tons of like fake plants everywhere. <laughs> I don't know. So I did that too. I don't know. I was just looking for stuff to put on the wall at this point. Um, <laughs> but just going around, lots of camera movement. I don't know. Now I'm looking for the bathroom items. Putting freaking toilet paper rolls on these little stall walls are the bait of my existence. It's so hard. The camera angle is like, you have to get it just right because you'll, if you just try to put it in there, like when your sim actually goes and plays this game, you, I mean that toilet paper roll will be up by the ceiling. It'll be up there so high or down on the floor. So you have to like really get in there really good to see where you're actually putting stuff out on the wall 
So it's just, ugh, so annoying. Putting it in this sink, I don't like this sink because it breaks all the time, but I like the way it looks and it matches this theme. So we're going with it, even though I know it will constantly break. So I need to get my Sims to get the handiness skill and get it up really fast to kind of upgrade those parts on that sink. So that way it just won't break all the time because that will be frustrating. Even though, I gotta say, I think the only people who actually use the restrooms in these restaurants so far that I've seen are your own Sims and the employees. Because I have yet to see a customer actually go in there and use the restroom. Um, generally, they don't stay long enough, I guess. They don't really, because they come in, they eat, they pay, and then they just leave. So, they don't really just hang out and stuff. Now, that might change since I have like a bar area upstairs and there's like more seating and stuff. I could have more Sims just kind of like hang out and... There's that hostess station I was talking about, by the way. Uh, I could have more, like, Sims just kind of hang out and do their thing, but I don't know yet. We'll have to see. But now we're filtering to the packs. I was trying to figure out if there's a way to, like, hide custom content, but there's not that I know of. I know that when you start up the game, you could, like, disable custom content. But, you know, I have, I don't know. I feel like I'd trip it, turn it back on, and then I'd load, like, a certain file, save file, and then all the stuff be all messed up because I forgot to put my mods back on. So I don't want to do that. <laughs> uh, this is where I put So I do decorate a little bit back here. I put in some stairs. I have a really hard time doing it because of that stupid camera angle. And I do put in trash cans and some bins. It took me forever to find these cardboard boxes that I knew we had in The Sims 4. I just couldn't find them. Um, yeah, eventually I find them and I put them in. It just took me, it just felt like ages. I couldn't remember what they were called, so I couldn't search for it. And I knew they were like a statue or clutter or something. I just knew they were in there. I knew it was Sims 4 and not Sims 3. I finally found them. I think I make them bigger and put them down there by the door. So it looks like the loading area, kind of. You know, there's the trash cans and kind of like where your deliveries come. I also put signage back there because in case someone wanders in from the back alley, they know where they're at. So, <laughs> um... But yeah, uh, let's see what else we're doing. Putting in some speakers. Uh, I think I go with, do I go with the jazz speakers? No, I go with the cafe wall speakers, don't I? Yeah, I go with the cafe wall speakers from Get Together. I'm not quite sure what that means. I don't know what kind of music the cafe wall speakers play, so I just, I picked it though. I guess if I don't like it, I can always go back and change it. Um, I just, I don't know. I just picked those because it sounded different. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Um. What am I doing now? Putting in exit signs. I put in an exit sign and then I uh, look through, see if there's anything else I can put on the wall, put on the ground. I'm gonna go and put some seating up here on the top roof because we haven't really done that yet. So I filtered into perfect patio stuff set so I can get all the cool outdoor furniture and put it out. And I went with red because that's kind of our theme here is red and black and brown. It's kind of like dark colors. Um, so yeah. Just putting in the outdoor area, make it look all nice and cozy. Come out here, relax, have a drink, you know. I don't think any actual customers will probably do that. It'd probably be my own Sims, but that's fine. So, I was trying to put a rug out here. I did not find one that matched this red that was small enough to go out here at all. So, I ended up with no rug, and I wanted one. I just couldn't. I just couldn't find one that matched that color for that small-ish area. So, whatever. Um, putting in some sofas. So that way we have some places to sit. I do think I put in some games up here. I think I put in like a foosball table and maybe a darts table. Not a darts table. A darts thingy that hangs on a wall. I don't know. I'll put one of those in too. Um, going through end tables. Trying to find one that wasn't custom content. Again. Um, because I really like round tables, and we don't really have round tables. So, like, round end tables and round coffee tables, that's kind of what I like, and we don't really have that regular game. So, I have a lot of custom content for that, but again, I don't want to put that in here. Now, when I go back to play it myself, I can change all I want, but until then, I don't want anything that's going to be a pain when you're trying to download it on the gallery. So, I think I want to go around outside and put some stuff. I'm not sure what I'm looking for here. Uh, the sign. I'm going to make me a sign, and then I'm going to do a little bit of landscaping and put some trees, put in some floral bushes and stuff, and do a little terrain painting out here. Um, so, yeah. Doing that, and then I think after that... After I get that sign all nice and going, I'm going to, um... Um, what do I 
do next? My video just kind of paused on me, but I think there it goes. Um, my video editing software is acting a little funky today. I'm not quite sure what I did, but um, it might actually be a computer thing. Who knows? I'm putting in some floral arrangements out here. Getting that weird little camera angle again. That's fine. I think I put in like pulsing jet things by the windows over there to the left. Um, I think I do that next after I get all the plants and trees and stuff in. Oh, I know what's happening when my video is acting all crazy. My computer monitors are trying to go to sleep during this. How frustrating. Uh, what a pain. That's definitely user error then. I was sitting here blaming my program and it's all me. It's all me. Oh, my kitty cat just sneezed. Bless you. Uh, um, yeah, putting in some pants and then I'll do some terrain painting. It's so frustrating that I could not find a terrain paint that matched the stone. Oh, I hit my Mac. Sorry. That matched the stone that's outside of my place. Couldn't find it. Couldn't find one to match. So I went with this one. Um, do some more terrain painting, painting around some dirt, painting underneath all the trees, make it a little more realistic. And then after this, I'm pretty sure I am going to put in that little water thingy I was talking about. And uh, yeah, I think so. Water thingy. I'm pretty sure I'll put it. Yeah, here we go. I did put in a water thingy. That is not the word that's called. What word am I looking for here? Mm, it's a fountain. I don't know. It's a whatever. It's got pulse sensing water jets and I can't think of an actual freaking name for it. Um, I'm having such a brain fart. Whatever. Um, but yeah, so uh, we're almost done. I'm done editing all this good stuff. I think I'm almost done editing. Whew, I'm done almost putting on all the furnishings. So um, after this, there's going to be a couple of screenshots. And then um, once this video is posted, there sh should be a link for it up on the gallery. And I'm going to have it play test and make sure it all works and stuff. All the good stuff. And uh, yeah, so we should be getting into the screenshots in just a second after we put in this foosball table. Timing's a little off. I'm sorry. I'm getting, I'm still new, okay? Yeah, there's my little dart table. Dart, or whatever. But yeah, so I'm putting that in. I think everything's in. We're done. Great. Looks fantastic. So anyways. Oh yeah, forgot to color top of it. So now we color top of it. Yay! Now we're done. Uh, so yeah, so now we're getting into the screenshots. And you'll see all these different screenshots that I should be able to explain to you. But I forgot to put them in my video yet. So, not bad. I guess I'll leave you here then with some nice outro music and the rest of the screenshots. So, I will see you guys next time.